What's up guys, hope you're having a good day. So in this video, we're going to talk about why 6 9 yes, the hated by everyone, supposedly 6 9 is the realest rapper in the game. You heard it here first. I'm going to explain why. I'm going to explain why. Just, just listen to me, hear me out. Here's reason number one, he's the realest rapper in the game. When he said he was gangbanging and he was a gangster, he really was, okay? He really was wearing the flag. Most of these rappers have a fake flag or they say they're gangbanging, but they don't really do anything. 6 9 for all the trolling and stuff, he really was living that life. Even if it was temporary and it was a gimmick to get him more record sales or to sell more songs, it doesn't matter. He actually was doing gangster shit. He really was doing gangster shit. Um, so there's reason number one. He really was living that life and about that life. Now, here's what I'm going to bring up the whole stitching thing, right? He goes, he gets arrested. He got arrested for whatever, the gangbanging stuff and all the other stuff, um, racketeering, whatever. He snitched. Fine, he snitched. But, 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 here's a caveat. When he got out, right? When he got out, he did his two years, whatever it was. When he got out, he didn't run from it. He didn't hide from it. He didn't lie about it. He said, yes, I snitched. Yes, I did. And so does everyone else. But no one admits it because they're fake. Because they're fake. And I'm real. And I'm going to own it. I'm going to own it. Yes, I snitched. And here's why. Here are the reasons why I did it. Does it get ruined than that? Do you think if little baby got arrested for racketeering right now, and he snitched. Do you think he would come out and admit that shit? No! He was like, oh, I didn't do it. I oh, got the paperwork. Oh, that's fake paperwork. That's fake paperwork. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. 6 9 could have lied. He could be like, dog, the stitching shit that's made up by the feds. The feds made that up to try to, to, try to disparage me and try to ruin my career and, and my credibility as a rap gangster. And they're lying, guys. They're lying. I'm still gangster. The only reason I got out early is because of some technicality or whatever the case may be. He could have made some shit up. And the public would have bought it. But he owned that shit. He owned it. So he's real. When T.I. snitched, he didn't own that shit. He continued acting like he, nothing happened. You know what I'm saying? And his career kept progressing. See, 6 9 sometimes being real can, can fuck you up. Like, because the world at large is very fake. It's filled with fake people. So when you're real... It kind of is jarring to people. It kind of catches people off guard. So sometimes, and in this case, it's actually the case, it screwed him over. It messed his career up that he was so real to openly admit it. Because he, like I said, he could have made up a lie and be like, nah, nah, dog, I never fucking snitched. The feds said that shit. The feds are making up fake paperwork. I, I kept it real. I kept it 100. Why'd you get out so soon? Oh, there was a technicality, you know, with the paperwork. My lawyer got a good deal. Like, he could have made some shit up and people would have believed that shit. He chose to keep it real. Realest rapper in the game. Another reason he's real. He's actually a good friend to people that, <clears throat> or a good person to people that he's like, he takes care of the people close to him. I saw uh, that he hangs out with the Nelt Boys and all that. He bought his, uh, they bought his brother a car. He takes care of his brother. I, I think it's his older brother, actually. I think he's like a year older than him. Takes care of his mom. You know what I'm saying? Um, takes care of the people he's around. What else did he do? So you know him and uh, DJ Academics are, are close. They're good friends. Whatever. He actually... And who else would do this? Who Name one other rapper who would do this, right? Now, Ac, DJ Academics. Yes, he raps around, playing around. But that's not his focus at all. 6 9 actually put DJ Academics on his album, Title Tales. He put him on a song. He didn't have to do that. That was generous as fuck. To, to, to let Ak get his name out there more as a rapper. Then on top of that, he did another song with DJ Academics for his, for his uh, you know, YouTube or whatever. So he did two songs with this unknown guy who doesn't even take rap seriously. Why? Because they're close friends and you do things like that for your close friends. What other rapper would fucking do that? Not many. Yeah, they'll, they'll put people in their songs that they're trying to sign to their label and make money off of and maybe try to build up. But not just some random friend because I just want to put him on because he's my friend and I want to give him a good song. That doesn't happen. So that's some real ass fucking shit. That is some real shit right there. And you know what? Academics is, is real with him too. 
He doesn't disown them now. So there's another one. That's three reasons already. I'm going to give you a, vo a bonus one. I'm going to give you a fourth one. Whenever Sarah Molina, the mother of his first daughter, accused him of domestic violence, he owned it. He said, yeah, I used to hit her. It is what it is. We used to fight each other. You know what I'm saying? He's like, yes, I did it. Most rappers would be like, that lying bitch, I never hit her. She's making that up. Oh, well, why are her eyes blacked out and her throat looks like it's, you know, got bruises on it? I don't know. She must have paid her girlfriend to do that. They would have never admitted that shit. Six nine just, I saw an interview. He goes, yeah, it was me. I did it. We used to fight each other. It was a toxic relationship. He admitted it. How many guys are going to admit that? How many? How many? And again, it probably hurt him more than it helped him because this world that we're in is so fake. But he did it. He, he owned it. Realest rapper in the game. He's realer than all these gangster rappers. All of them. These dudes are fake. 6 9 is real. He puts them to shame. Puts them to shame. He was really doing gangster shit. You know, that's why he ended up getting arrested for it. Like, he was really about that life. Whether it was for the sales or for the fame, that's re irrelevant. He was actually about it. He admitted the snitching. Could have easily denied it. He did a song with DJ Academics, a friend with no... Idea said like, oh, I can make money off of them. It was strictly as a friendship, a loyalty thing. Like, I want to do this for you. I want to put you out there to get more well known. Strictly friendship. And he admitted everything that Sir Molina said about him. He goes, yeah. And he takes care of his family. Realist rapper in the game. Prove me wrong. That's what I want you guys to do. Subscribe if you've never been here. Comment below how I'm wrong. How is any other rapper realer than him? And give me specific examples. You get to be like, oh, he's real because his raps sound better. No, give me a real prime example of how another rapper is realer than him. I would love to hear it. I would love to hear it. Uh, give me a like. Subscribe. Love you guys. And I'll talk to you later.